Hey guys, welcome to Odo Penny uh, Airport in Bucharest, Romania. I am actually flying to Istanbul right now, a quick hour and a half flight, uh, and I'm doing it on Pegasus. Pegasus is a regional airline. Uh, I believe they're Turkish. I'm pretty confident they're Turkish. I've flown them two other times before. Wonderful, wonderful flight. And it's, it's even better because it's really, really short flights. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the Euro trip. Last stop, uh, four days in Istanbul. Um, and I'm, I'm just so hungover and tired from celebrating the baptism yesterday, but uh, that airport life. Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm here at the Bucharest airport. Um, it was really uh, kind of a quick turnaround between leaving Slobozia and then uh, having to get here for my flight. Uh, but it's totally worth it. I have absolute blast. But I wanted to end this by sending out a special th thank you to Aline and his family. Um, Aline uh, is one of my best friends and he's done nothing but uh, show me the best side of Romanian culture, history, identity. And uh, for him to invite me as godfather of a child, uh, unofficial godfather, unfortunately, um, it, 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 it's something truly, truly special to me. And it allowed me to do this vlog for you guys to kind of give you a behind the scenes look at Romanian culture, what people don't talk about, you know? And, and that's why I love Romania so much. Hold on one second. My bad, sorry. I'm gonna start again in a second. Um, I, I appreciate Aline and Oana and their family uh, for uh, allowing me to show you guys what it's really like uh, to, to have Romanian friends and to be accepted as part of their family. And, and make no mistake, they really embraced me and accepted me. The, the great thing was there's no awkwardness, there's no weird looks or stares or. Uh, there's none of that. They just embraced me as family. And I really, what I really also appreciated was um, at the reception, some of the conversations I was able to have with uh, some of his friends and family I had never known that I didn't meet before. And we talked about everything from race and politics uh, to sports and film. Like the, the, the gamut of conversation was just beautiful, open, and honest. Um, <clears throat> and I think a lot of times uh, people try to be too polite about things and just don't ask the questions that they really, they really want to know um but yeah anyway uh thank you so much uh alina i hope you guys are watching this uh your family is watching this uh thank you so much for allowing me to be a part of not only your culture but a significant um event in your life and i look forward to seeing you guys again soon uh, welcome to istanbul turkey so I just made a totally stupid rookie mistake, but the, the Turkish people at the passport place really hooked me up. Um, I totally forgot I need an e-visa as an American uh, to Turkey. And I uh, was standing on and I went in there, you got your visa. I'm like, ah, no, I, I thought you can get it visa on arrival. For some reason, I remember last time I was here, I got out on arrival, but clearly that was wrong. So uh, they actually sent me over to the visa office. It cost me 20 pound, which is why I always travel with two different currencies, a pound, euro, euro dollar always at least the euro um it cost me 20 pounds to get uh the visa on arrival and then um instead of making me wait in line again they brought me right to the front so here i am i'm now officially in turkey good morning from my first morning back in istanbul as you guys can see right here hagia sophia and over here is the blue mosque you can see the minutes right there right there, right there. Rebecca and right here is the main boulevard and people getting their smoke on in the morning so I'm not exactly sure what I'll be doing today I think I'm gonna go down to the Grand Bazaar the Spice Market and maybe a museum um, I have a couple things I need to square away today um, so I'm not going to go to the Hagel Sophia and the Blue Mosque today I'm gonna do that tomorrow morning um, I actually have one less day than I thought I did um, I fly out at 2 a.m. Thursday night, Friday morning. I thought it was actually Friday night, Sunday, Saturday morning. So I actually lost an entire day and totally threw off my plan. So I have to cut a few things out. But the Grand Bazaar is an absolute must. Spice Market is a must. And the Hagio, Hagio, oh, excuse me. Hagia Sophia is an absolute must for me because it is actually my favorite building in the entire world. So uh, I really don't know what's gonna happen today, so let's find out. So Istanbul probably has the freshest juices, orange juice and pomegranate juices you can get, and it's actually really, really cheap. So here, he's making it fresh. Fresh, my friend. Right here, and it's only five Turkish lira, Turkish which lira. is 
about one euro fifty, something like that. And I don't trust anything to be fresh unless I see them actually make it. So I constantly say uh, how uh, Rome is like a living museum, but Istanbul is just as old, just as beautiful, and just as detailed. Mosque everywhere, beautiful. And one here, and one here. This is my brother from Mexico. Check that out. Absolutely beautiful everywhere here. Right here. So it begins. Looks like this is going to be a shopping day. Uh, we are actually going down the one of the older corridors. You're right here? Yeah, I should. It's a good price. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, welcome to the Grand Bazaar. <laughs> So this is Grand Bazaar. As you guys can see, they've upped security uh, here in Istanbul, given everything that's been going on lately. Uh, but it's still a lot of people running around, mainly a lot of locals. Um, and it's, it's a little sad and it's advantageous towards me that people are so scared of uh, coming to Istanbul. I felt nothing but safe here. The year that I lived here, I felt nothing but safe here. All the other times I visited, it felt nothing but safe here. Uh, but here we are, getting a little shopping in. I'm going to be doing a bit of walking and talking and showing you guys. Like A lot of the things that you see here are things that you're going to see uh, elsewhere. Uh, like in Gaikak, uh, in Cambodia. Uh, in New York City, uh, but the prices here are significantly different. Uh, you're gonna see also see a lot of jewelry stores like this. And this is the eye. I'm actually gonna try to get on a tour to do this a little bit later, but these little eyes are significantly Turkish. Wherever you see these in the world is a, a significant part of Turkish culture. Uh, look at the bazaar. Beautiful. And gold here is a very big thing still here, like actual gold you can buy gold look at these gold bars uh, if I have to recommend the Grand Bazaar for anything I would recommend it for jewelry they absolutely love jewelry and if you know uh, if you know anything about uh, Middle Eastern culture history and religion you know it's a little bit taboo uh, with the gaudiness and the flashiness of jewelry uh, in Islam so it's uh, it's a it's a borderline subject here now although uh, the Grand Bazaar is actually organized and laid out uh, certain vendors in certain areas uh, you can find a little bit of mix of everything but this specific area you're gonna run into you're gonna find more of the lanterns and the shops like this traditional or ornamentation excuse me uh, tea sets uh, absolutely stunning tea sets these beautiful ornaments And everything here, uh, you can have it shipped back to you. So if you likely don't have a bag to carry one of these beautiful ornaments, you can uh, actually get it shipped and insured and make sure it gets to you safely. Beautiful. I want to get a house just to get one of these lamps. We're having one of those days where everybody comes up to me and asks me something, and he's loving it because <laughs> no, no, nobody's messing with him. He goes right by, and he's like, oh, brother, brother. I'm like, Maybe because I look more like him. It's like a darker skin tone. <laughs> so you guys probably can hear the call to prayer starting. Midday prayer. Get a little closer to the car prayer, and we've come out. Gonna grab some kebabs. So that's uh, beef and that's chicken. Yeah. No pork here. No pork. Yeah. Come here. Alright, so pets. Hey, what is this? This is burek. 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 Yes. Yeah. Alright. And these are uh, simit. Simit? Simit, yes. Simit. Uh -huh. All right, we're walking in. Down into the salon. And it's all underground. This city is a very ancient city, so you have a lot of restaurants like this and you're still underground. There are so many different kind of kebabs, uh, and this is gonna be one of many that we eat 
Uh, so this is a really simple kebab. It's just uh, chicken doodle uh, sliced up, and you usually get some uh, potatoes or some kind of salad. And um, the salads are usually a tomato onion based salad, and they usually put um, lemon juice and olive oil on it. And sometimes they put a um, I want balsamic vinaigrette on it. So yeah, it's, it's really simple, but this is probably the simplest plate kind of durum you'll find here. You don't actually see this anywhere in the world. You usually never see the buying and selling parallel. And they're just maybe a little bit off, but this is actually what you should be looking for. But if these two numbers are different, the first two numbers, walk away. You're getting, you're getting ripped off. That's gold. Look at this. I've always said this about Turkey. I think they have uh, just as much national pride as Americans, and that is a lot of national pride. Make sure you guys remember that uh, usually, like leading up to uh, bazaars and markets, the streets are normally covered with vendors that are cheaper because they don't have the prime real estate of the market. So always make sure you check out these side streets. Ooh, coats. The cultural thing. So this is actually where you wash your feet. Uh, it's not for drinking, but it's a, a place where you wash your feet uh, in Islam. I have no idea why, but there are a lot of lingerie places here. There's one, and there's another one, and then there's another one. God, what, what, what Turkish women out here doing in these streets? As you can see, there's not just one thing you get out here. You get suits, made, dresses, you get slippers, clothes uh, for kids, uh, quite a few clothes. Uh, lingerie, you got boxers here, jeans here, you got trench coats over here. Let's see, we got bathrobes uh, and bath stuff here. You got uh, bags down there, right here. A little bit of everything, luggage. I'm sure those are real. Hmm. Yeah, belts over here, track suits. Still a thing. Uh, my man needs a uh, backpack. So like I said, you can find a little bit of everything here. I got you the Spice Bazaar. And it goes in right here. Hold on, gotta get checked. Hold on. There we go. Now this is where we want to be. This is what we're looking for. Take a quick detour. They take their coffee real serious here in Turkey. But this right here is the most famous Turkish coffee out there. That's why there's a line going around. So we have to actually go up here and queue up to get some. Uh, it is crazy today. Look at this. All four corners. Well, three. Number three. And here are the prices. So best know what you want. I got a little assembly on. A lot of people <laughs> have been talking about for years. These cats are everywhere. And they're super friendly cats. You run right up on them. They're so used to people. This is absolutely delicious and wonderful. And everything is fresh. Look at it. That's uh, natural apple tea. Perfect. So spices aren't the only thing that you can find at the spice market. So you can get things like these. These are scrubs, like for your skin. They kind of like exfoliate it. Then they've got natural soaps down here. All of these different weeds and whatnot. Natural olive oils. I am right grabbing here. this uh, Ottoman and this uh, chicken. Yes. He speaks Spanish. Yes. Hello, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> you want also for fish? The, uh, no, 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 no. Pescado. And it's. Arroz, para macaroni. Otra cosa? Otra cosa? Chili paprika. Daki. Especia para sopa. For uh, soup. Soap? Yeah. Or salad, like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. And usually you'll find these places, uh, usually places like this that sell everything from spices and uh, spices and teas to baklava's, sweets, dried fruits, real old school traditional markets. 
So this is actually, in my opinion, the most beautiful mosque in Istanbul, which is it's called the New Mosque. Uh, but it's under construction right now, unfortunately. Um, and I'll link to my portfolio where I've got pictures of it. But it's, it's probably my favorite mosque in the city. I want to show you guys a small aspect of Islam, but I don't want to get too close and be disrespectful. But right here, um, you'll see these around most mosques. Uh, and it's a place where you can uh, wash your feet and you can wash your hands uh, before you go into the mosque and worship here. For this a bit um, later, uh, when I actually go to the Blue Mosque. But quick show. Interest to um, a mosque is free. So anybody ever tells you you have to pay to get in a mosque, it's wrong. But this is what men should be wearing. And shoes go in a bag. You put your shoes in a bag. And women have to, have to have a scarf. Have to. And nothing tight fitting. Nothing. All right. And guys, no shorts. There's something that's kind of a little bit unique to the new mosque are these people who sell. And I've taken pictures of her. They sell those to raise money uh, for the mosque renovations. Oh, it breaks my heart. I can't share the beauty of this place with you guys right now, but I'm just gonna go into the courtyard real quick. And take a quick look at that. You don't have to take off your shoes or anything to go just into the courtyard. This is when you actually go into the mosque. But this is the courtyard area where you prepare and get ready to go in for worship. No matter what your affiliation is, uh, with what faith or whatnot, it's always uh, great to step back away from your own faith and your own beliefs and just admire the wonderful architecture that Christians and uh, Buddhists and Jewish and Muslims have created over the centuries. Not to mention the longevity of these buildings. Beautiful. You get a really cool view of, this is the Spice Market right here. I cannot remember the name of this one. Oh, it's gonna bug me. And over here, that's Galata Bridge, the famous Galata Bridge. You see all these guys uh, fishing? We're gonna go over there. Really good view from the new mosque steps. Okay, I just noticed all of this beautiful new construction. Like, this is really, really nice. This was like, this entire area was busted. Like, it hadn't been repaired since the 1800s. And now they've completely redone this entire area it's wonderful when you guys finally get here it's going to be more than worth it this terrible view this is something new. so if you need tourist information this car right here is tourist information hello america, <laughs> america. hello america uh, thank you <laughs> hey uh can we go under the bridge to get over to get some uh fish sandwiches the other side yeah Regional side you want to go to the other side uh, this side right here is on the water to galata Okay. Now here, okay, new mosque, down the stairs and then cross the uh, other side, the bridge okay. or Bible uh, bridge. Mm -hmm. And then you will see this street. This is Yüksek Kaldırım Street, okay? Okay. You must uh, up the street and then you will see uh, Istiklal Avenue. Ah. Uh, all places, oh, Taksim, Taksim Square is here, but uh, all places, Taksim. Perfect. This is Susano. Connecting both sides. Oh, a little bit of everything here. Ooh, insoles. I actually need some of these. Isn't it crazy like, when you see something that you actually need and you don't even think about? Like socks. I always need socks. Oh, gosh. I love this place, guys. I absolutely love this city. I love the energy. I love the chaos. I love the prices. I love the people and the food. So this entire area is covered in these uh, very touristic like little floaty boats where they cook uh, the fish sandwiches but it's kind of a it's kind of a local thing too it's called Balik Ekmek let's see if I can actually get over here if I can get over here so you can see they're actually cooking yeah that's what they're doing over here Uh, we're going to go over to the other side. Other side, I think we can get closer over there. You can see we're right on the water. There's a Bayogu Tower. People out here fishing, and it's very, very plentiful. Very plentiful for with fish. But this is what we came for. Less crowded. Uh, right here. This 
is Salep. Yes. Is it is it tea or is it coffee? Salep. Salep. No no Alright, can I have some? How much is it? Five euros, sir. Five euro? Lira. Lira. Okay, yeah, let's do some. Let me get some. Yes. Base? Uh, and what is that? Cinnamon? Huh? The cinnamon? Yes. Cinnamon. First one, cinnamon. Ah, perfect. Yes, there very you nice. You eat All right. very hard. Alright, let's see. You are right, hold that, could you? Right? Be careful. Ah. Very delicious. Oh my oh, god. That was really good. <laughs> it tastes it tastes like a like a chai tea, but a little thicker, like a vanilla chai tea. That's what it tastes like. So good. Special, just your first one, very nice. I've very never had this. Oh, this from. is the first one today. Yes, I'm from America. Oh my God. United States. What's your name? Eric. Eric, name Emra. 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 Nice to meet you. Are nice you from Istanbul? Uh, Istanbul, yes. Oh, nice it's to meet you. Istanbul, Kurdish. Oh, that's perfect. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. No peace sign, no problem. Oh. Eric. And these are baklavas? Uh, yes, baklava, Eric. And these are Turkish delights? Turkish delights. And which ones are these? Pomegranate pistachio honey. I'm trust pistachio honey. Whoa. Alright. What's your name? David. David, where are you from? From Mexico. Mexico. Mexico, well, this is the cocaine. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's Colombia. <laughs> Colombia. <laughs> That's good. Just to crystallize all the yes. honey. Very nice, so, but no calories. Just uh, honey special double pistachio. Mm. You uh, uh, pomegranate, saffron, Turkish delight, tea, mm. spices, saffron, boxes, black and package, a popular program in America.